warning. This children's message is filled with danger, danger, danger. Well, hey, I'm Captain Danger, Danger, Danger. <laughs> Pastor John couldn't be here with you today because he had a, a thing. Yeah, that's, that's right, he had a thing. But I'm here to share an important life lesson. You know, chances are you won't need this today or tomorrow, but, but when you're super old, like, like in your, your mid-30s, tweezers are very useful. They can be used to, to take out splinters in your finger or place little beads in your favorite project. but they can also be wrought with peril and whoosh, 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 danger, especially when you get older. Because one day, evil gray hairs will pop out of nowhere. And you may be tempted to take out your tweezers whoosh, 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 and pluck them out. But you need to be careful because you may miss the evil gray hair <laughs> and accidentally pluck out a healthy good hair. No! And not just one or two, the horror! Or even three, not me, not me, not me. And still that one elusive gray hair mocks you. Miss me, miss me. (laughs) And even more gray hairs may fill that space. Rise, my brothers and sisters, rise! (laughs) And if you pluck out too many hairs, you can go bald. So it's important to let those hairs grow side by side. In our reading for today, Jesus compares wheat and weeds to the presence of good and evil in the world. Well, kind of like the different colored hairs that I just mentioned. And while we may ask, well, why doesn't God just do something about it, pluck it out the evil in the world and, and uproot it? Jesus reminds us that for a time, it will grow side by side in the good and the bad. It doesn't go unnoticed, but one day it will be removed. So you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both. And there you have the facts of life, the, the facts of life. In the meantime, we are to work for good and to stand for good wherever we are planted. Well, this is Captain Danger, 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 signing off. Well, thank you for watching today's children's message. I just need to make a point of clarification. Gray hair is not evil. It's a sign of wisdom. And then those who carry its glory, whether peppered in a beard or full flowing locks of hair, or even partial locks of hair for that matter, are to be honored and revered. Not just saying because I have gray hair. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 31 shares this. Gray hair is a crown of glory and is gained in a righteous life. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 29 reminds us the glory of youths is their strength, but the beauty of the ages is their, you got it, gray hair. So take those honor highlights, those, those wisdom wisps, those, those stress streaks or whatever you call them, and wear them boldly.